Now, U.S. President Donald Trump has revoked the security clearance of former CIA director John Brennan. White House spokeswoman quoted Trump as saying that any benefits the senior officials may gain from consultations with Brennan are now outweighed by the risk posed by his conduct. Trump also warned that he's considering blacklisting several other critics. In a tweet, Brennan reacted to Trump's decision, saying MOVE is part of a broader effort by the president to suppress a freedom of speech and punish his critics. He added he will not relent and will continue to speak out. Following the president's summit last month with Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, Brennan described Trump's behavior as, quote, nothing short of treasonous. Joining us now out of San Francisco, California, is Mr. Scott Bennett, former U.S. Army psychological warfare officer. Hello, Scott. It's a pleasure to have you back on the program. Now, Scott, correct move or misstep? Your thoughts, please. Well, jump in if you want to stop me because i got a lot to say about this. John Brennan, we originally reported in 2012 in the book Shell Game, the military report that I sent to General James Mattis when he was in charge of Central Command, and I was a military officer doing terrorist financing. I had reported to General Mattis as well as Senator Feinstein, Senator Bill Nelson, the Intelligence Committees, the Armed Services Committees, that John Brennan was implicated in the Clinton Foundation, Saudi Arabian terrorist financing operations, that were being utilized through Swiss banks. Uh, all of that is available on shellgamewhistleblower.com. But John Brennan was one of the key figures that we adamantly requested, Brad Birkenfeld and myself, who was a Swiss bank intelligence asset. Uh, uh, we had recommended that John Brennan be, be examined and thoroughly investigated by the Congress. Uh, we even sent it to, uh, I mean, a variety of people in the military and it was never done. John Brennan was the national security advisor under Obama. He then became the CIA director, uh, at, but he was appointed during a Christmas break because no one wanted John Brennan. No one liked John Brennan. No one trusted John Brennan. Rand Paul said a lot of that. Tulsi Gabbard, Senator Bill Nelson, I'm sorry, Senator uh, Richard Black. But yet John Brennan was appointed in secret. Uh, and then he, is, he has gone on to not only finance terrorism and, and coordinate the CIA assets in Libya, in Ukraine, in Syria. But as your previous guest commented accurately, he's also worked with MI5, MI6 on this, on this uh, coup d'etat that they were planning by inventing a false Russian narrative uh, to overthrow President Trump. All of that is crumbling. Uh, it, the only pity is that President Trump didn't do this the moment he got into office. So John Brennan is a very bad man. He's a he's, uh, He's probably one of the great traitors that will be exposed as all of this intelligence comes out. Uh, and as WikiLeaks and Julian Assange hopefully will testify, and we've offered to testify alongside WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, myself, Brad Birkenfeld. Uh, Edward Snowden could even comment on this because he was part of the Swiss bank terrorist financing that Birkenfeld uh, knew and that we reported. So all of these pieces are coming together, and John Brennan knows that. That's why he is falling apart at the seams. That's why he's acting with such outrageous, false bravado. But again, remember, always remember, the United States is in the middle of a civil war. There are those of us uh, come on Press TV. There are those of us who want peace and stability and better relationships with Iran and Russia, and we've worked tirelessly to do that. I was in Iran a couple months ago, and I've, I've passionately brought back my experience with the Iranian people, culture, media, and academics to American politicians, to the White House, and said, President Trump, please stop taking the advice from people uh, that are in the same league as John Brennan. These people like Nikki Haley and, and uh, John Bolton and others are undermining the security of the national uh, of America. They're undermining President Trump's own uh, presidential mandate. The American people elected President Trump to get us out of the Middle East wars, not amplify them. And that's what John Brennan has always represented, the secret deep state CIA government to undermine the president and uh, continue this full spectrum dominance that now involves a false heresy and a false narrative about Russian meddling and uh, the, the, the commitment of the sanctions against Russia and Iran. Now, Iran has a very powerful position because they can come in and remember, an egomaniac and someone that is insecure is also a bully. But bullies are the easiest people to persuade and uh, manipulate for positive purposes. And that's what Iran can do with President Trump. They can come alongside 
and they have to speak to him. They have to constantly fill his ears with their truth in order to drown out the lies that are being put into his other ear uh, from people like Bolton and Haley. That's the principle of successful uh, information operations, strategic communications, psychological warfare. You're always speaking to your opponent. You're always smiling. You're always giving a, a uh, almost a martial art jujitsu communication interplay. You can never be quiet. You can never shut the doors. You can never retract and go silent because then the liars and the warmongers have a green light to fill the president's mind with confusion and uh, push him into a direction like they did in the Syrian uh, attack with the missiles when they made the false uh, chemical attack that Bashar Assad never did. So that's why we're always adamantly pushing the Iranians and the Russians to aggressively tell President Trump, you're under siege within your own house and in your own civil war. We're here to create peace and bridges. Let us work together to do that. Thanks, Scott. Always a pleasure having you on the program. It's Mr. Scott Bennett, former U.S. Army Psychological Warfare Officer, joining us there out of San Francisco, California.